Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. Today's video was inspired by a user comment about using alcohol to thin silicone for making masks. And so we're going to explore that. Now we're going to do something else with that too. We're going to look into adding cornstarch to speed up the drying process. Now there is some mis misinformation out there about what cornstarch actually is. It's been called uh, incorrectly a humectant and that's not correct. Cornstarch is a desiccant. It pulls moisture out of the silicone. Now I've done a lot of work with cornstarch and silicone and today I'm going to share with you a combination of ratios to use cornstarch and silicone and the combination that I'm going to supply with you today is going to allow for a dry time of about one hour and that's going to give you plenty of time for you to make your mold okay so let's get started so I've laid out everything that we're going to need to do this and I thought perhaps I would put it in a glove what I'd like to do is to make it as thick as possible um, so that we can see it um, harden up with the cornstarch so I've got the uh, the alcohol to thin it with. I've got the cornstarch to speed up the drying process. I've got the silicone. And uh, folks, you know me. I like to keep things nice and neat, so I always put everything in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to mix it all together in here. After it's well mixed, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to squeeze it out. Now as I go along I'm going to be giving you the amounts uh, and you can use these ratios in your mixes. Uh, the ratios that I give uh, can certainly be adjusted uh, to suit your needs. Now I'm going to lay the empty bag on here because it does have a little bit of weight, 11 grams so thereabouts, so I'm going to tear this so we can keep everything nice and accurate. And I may uh, pause the video because this caulk gun gets rather noisy. Now the amounts that I'm going to use today, I'm going to uh, squirt out 100 grams of silicone to begin with. Now there are about 220 ish grams in a full tube of silicone just to give you an idea and we're roughly at 50 now 100 grams is fairly close to a cup three that's pretty close and it's good enough these uh, amounts they of course don't have to be exact I'm going to begin with 1 8 cup of just 91 percent isopropyl alcohol My thoughts on this are, if it doesn't thin out well enough with that amount, I'm going to add just a little bit more. But I'm going to move on and give you the uh, ratio for the cornstarch. And for every 100 grams of silicone I use 10 grams 
of cornstarch. So that is a 10 to 1 ratio. 10 parts silicone to 1 part cornstarch. There we have it. Now it was suggested by another viewer. He uses my method and he has improved it somewhat and he says that if you squeeze out the air the working time is extended even longer, so we're going to do that. That still feels a little bit thick, so I'm going to add roughly another eighth cup of alcohol. Now I can reuse these. Everything is going into the same bag. Some more of that air out. Seems to be working fairly well. I see it mixing in. I don't know if you can see that, but it, uh, it's all in there. I don't see any separation, coagulation. It looks homogenous to me. The alcohol seems to be doing pretty well. Let's take a little peek, see what we have.
Okay, you will see a little film right here. So that indicates that the uh, alcohol has not fully mixed, incorporated into the silicone. As you can see, it's stringing up on me. Now the addition of the cornstarch may be what's causing this effect right here. But we're going to continue to see what we come up with. I see the alcohol dripping out of the bag as well. I don't know if you can see these drips, but there we have it right there, okay? So. Let's just squeeze a big pile out onto the plate because what I'd like to see is the thin silicone, the silicone that we've thinned with alcohol, I want to see if incorporating the cornstarch will still work as a drying agent for thick silicone. So we're just going to pile it up right there and we're going to give that about one hour. Now without the alcohol, straight silicone and cornstarch at the ratios that I gave you has a dry time of a thickness like this of about one hour. So let's get back to this in an hour. Alrighty folks, so in this situation here, we don't have it. So here is the, uh, the silicone that I've mixed with alcohol and added cornstarch to it. I added the alcohol to thin it and then I added the cornstarch to speed up the drying process. Okay, neither worked. The, uh, the silicone is not dry. It's been an hour. I know this ratio works because I use it. 100 grams of silicone to 10 grams of cornstarch hardens up in about an hour. I've done it hundreds of times. Now, uh, in this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and post this video. However, off camera, in an effort to salvage the video, I went ahead and I looked a little bit more closely at what, we're, what we have here, so let me explain. Cornstarch absorbs water. That's how it dries out the silicone quickly. Now, upon reflection, alcohol displaces water. Alcohol bonds to water so that water is no longer water. Okay, so the cornstarch had no water to absorb. That's why this didn't work. Now, I didn't quite notice at the time, but you may have when I was squeezing it out, if you refer back to my previous video where I thinned silicone with naphtha, I actually poured it out of the bowl into a stream. In this situation, I had to squeeze it out, and it looked pretty much like it was coming out of the tube. So, the alcohol did not thin it. Now, in an effort to show some results here, what I've done is I've squeezed a little bit onto this plate. I've dumped some alcohol on there. And I have spent a good five minutes trying to get these to mix. So the alcohol does not mix with the silicone. So therefore, it's never going to thin it. So <clears throat> the comment that was left about it's done all the time, <laughs> no, it's not. This doesn't work. Now, um, what I would like you to do before leaving a comment, make sure you're accurate in your understanding and perhaps even try the experiment yourself before because a lot of people are going to read the comments and they're going to assume that you know what you're talking about. So please make sure you're accurate before leaving a comment on my page. Thank you so much for watching and if you like please subscribe. And I will post a link to a, a video that I've done that does work.
Bye-bye.